Hey guys, welcome back to MLB 21, the show Red Sox Franchise Mode. And today we'll be starting off this four game series against the Houston Astros at Minute Maid Park. And I know, they um, they beat the Red Sox in real life. And in the game, I think they are probably one of the toughest opponents that I ever played so far. Definitely for sure, because I think, I think they're... Uh, offense is just like phenomenal in general but their pitching i wouldn't necessarily say they're like the strongest but definitely one of the top tier pitching um in the uh, mlb but before we go into this game well you guys can watch what's going to happen here but yes so i read a couple of news on um on the rest Sox website uh in regards to the uh, free agency so it turns out um, <clears throat> there's a uh, tons of players that are heading to uh, free agency. So Danny Santana has been elected as free agent. Uh, free agency: Travis Shaw, Hansel Robles, Adam Ottavino, Erod, and also Kyle Schwarberg. And we also claimed uh, Yankees left fielder Tim the Castro off the waiver, uh, which means uh, yeah, he will be wearing number sixteen. But at the same time, I read about how um, Martin Perez is not coming back to the Red Sox, will be going to the free agent. So does uh, Gary Richards. So this is a very interesting move, which kind of frees up at least three starting pitchers. But I'm pretty sure uh, Nick Pavetta will still be there. And also um, and also Tanner Hawk. I, I, Tanner Hawk. I think he might, be, uh, he might be one of the contenders to start to be one of the five uh, starting pitchers so so and and that's basically it and of course i read about news saying how erod might exercise and um uh an extra offer something like that so he might be staying in the ball club uh, very soon christian fast is actually heading towards the um, free agency but i'm pretty sure he's gonna he's gonna extend his contract and jd martinez has decided to uh uh, exercise one of his oh excuse me exercise one of his um, uh, option for for his contract which means he's gonna stay until the end of the contract which is 2022 and I'm pretty sure that will be his last year of his contract which is you know that's basically much it and going back into today's game we have the first game as I said the uh, the four game series against Houston Astros and right here so far offensively we've been struggling until we have Devers um Hits a solo home run to tie the game. And we have Nick Pafetta actually on the other side. Will be making his fourth or fifth start for us in the season. I didn't realize I've been using him uh, earlier in the season when I think when Garrett Richards was. Uh, actually, no, actually not him. My bad. It's actually Martin Perez because Nick Pavetta will be in the next game. But uh, today it will be uh, Martin Perez. So far, he has been pretty strong despite allowing a very, a very crappy inside of park home run. And I'm pretty sure Hunter Renfro should be the one uh, to be blamed with that. Otherwise, Martin Perez has been phenomenal despite getting a th despite having a few runners on bases, but that's basically it. But offensively, just couldn't really turn up at the right moment. Christian Frass is right there, flies that one now to center field uh, to end the bottom of the six. And right here, uh, this is something that I do not want to see is Jan out. Alvarez, right? Yeah, Alvarez. Apparently, he is the uh, leading home run hitter so far in the AL with 25, which is quite phenomenal. Which is pretty much double um, a, a double uh, Hunter Renfro home run count, I think, because Hunter Renfro has been hitting like 12 or 13 home runs so far. And of course, we are trying to we are trying to use as much power as we can. But uh, and yeah, right here uh, they took the lead again. So, uh, Martin Perez has been strong throughout seven innings. And San Bogart, again, hitting a ground ball to second base to end the, the top of the eighth. And so far, Houston, ha Houston Nationals have been so good. And Martin Perez uh, just, uh, just, couldn't really, just couldn't really command his pitches against Alvarez. And Alvarez hits a double off him and pretty much that will be the that will be the end for martin perez i think in today's game he has been he has been pretty good so far despite i will consider him as the weakest link in our starting pitcher so darwinson hernandez will be coming on to replace martin perez and hopefully we can um we can we can you know keep that one run devastate but you know what happened right here 
literally his second pitch, a fly ball to left field, literally over the wall for a home run. That's a no doubter for right there. And um, and Houston Astros took a uh, another another two run another two uh, another two, a two run home run and striking out Carrera. I thought, okay, this is looking good. I don't think we're gonna win this game for sure. And then Kyle Tucker just hit a solo home run to center field. I didn't even bother to run because it was really, really... It was just unnecessary. It's just like... I, I just don't know. I just don't know what to say at this point. Just... <laughs> just putting Hernandez on for... You know, just, just, just to complete the inning. It's fine to give up a run right there. But turns out he gave up three freaking home runs. And I'm pretty sure that would be the end for him. And of course, definitely not the brightest relief... He has ever pitched for the Red Sox. Just coming on and just uh, trying to keep that one-run deficit. And instead, allowing Astros to extend, um, to add four runs in the scoreboard. And pretty much we know this game is over with that inning. Endeavors goes down on strike at the top of the ninth. And a Hunter Renfro goes down on strike with a slider at the bottom of the zone. And you already know this game is already over. And Marvin Gonzalez is going to hit that one. Uh, pop up to third base Berkman and that would be the end of the first game of the four game series and we lost we take the big L in today's game 6-1 six, six in the end and of course uh, I think the MVP it's Darwinson Hernandez because without him Astro wouldn't be having another extra four runs added to the scoreboard but yeah uh, it turns out this game 6-1 uh, offensively just didn't turn out uh, didn't turn up as at all just four hits with a home run that hit by Devers and committing one error which doesn't really mean a thing because it was it was not because of that error leads to the run being scored but it was just poor pitching you no know, pitching change by me of course so player of the game definitely Jordan Alvarez four for four uh, with a home run and a triple I think he I think he was a uh, double shy away from a cycle but uh, that didn't happen. So, and Framer felt uh, Framer Feldez will be taking the dub, and Martin Perez will be taking the loss. It was unfortunate for him. I think he did pretty good in today's game, despite allowing ten home runs. And Pedro Baez will be uh, earning his first save of the season. So, thank you for watching. And I'm sorry my voice has been uh, cracking up here and there. It's just I was just having a cup of coffee and everything which just kind of like comes into full effect with my with my throat so i will see you guys in the second game of the four game series so stay tuned thank you for watching i'll see you guys in a bit